Hello. Our lecture for today is about Spring Data JPA in a RESTful API. Again, this is Edward, and I hope you learn new things from me as we go along this set of videos. If you find my videos useful, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon. We are now in the final video of the set on REST API, and this will be about the Spring Data JPA, which is a Spring dependency that lets us expose REST services from the repositories we have in our project. Remember, in our earlier presentations, we have created an endpoint for the category at b1 slash categories. Before opening the HAL browser, it's common to change, to change the URL by adding an API suffix. So let's open the application.properties file and add the configuration below. Spring.data.res.base-path equals API. Let's run our application. And navigate to localhost forward slash API. Don't forget the port 8080. Localhost for 8080 forward slash API. We should be able to see the list of available repository endpoints from our project like categories, products, dealers, and more. And you can play with these endpoints in the HAL browser. Figuring out the parameters. Mm -hmm. Another important thing to remember is that we can exclude a repository in the auto generated endpoints if we want to. We just need to annotate the repository with at repository rest resource exported equals false as we can see here in case it's the method we want to exclude just override that method and annotate with at resource exported equals false that's why we don't see the brand repository or the brand api in the links and finally, to, to enable the Swagger documentation, we need to add the following dependencies in the project's form file. The Spring Packs, Swagger, Swagger UI, which is here, Swagger 2, Swagger UI, and the Spring Packs dash data dash rest. Using the version, 3 dash snapshot. Otherwise, it won't work on the version of Spring, which is 2.1.6, that release version that we are using. Yeah, because of previous version, which is version 2, doesn't work on the Spring boot that we are using. So we have to make some changes in our Swagger config class. So we need to replace the Swagger 2 with at enable swagger to web mbc and add the import annotation with the parameter spring data rest configuration and that's it for this section next we will start working on a microservice architecture or possibly our client app which will be in react which do you prepare i hope you enjoy and keep learning and don't forget to subscribe to my channel Thank you and bye-bye.